from the Denver Broncos Media Center. Welcome to Broncos Country Tonight with Ryan Edwards and Benjamin Albright. Welcome to Broncos Country Tonight as we continue to celebrate the excitement here as Russell Wilson is now the starting quarterback for the Denver Broncos. And we're going to spend a little bit of today's show talking about Russell Wilson's fit. Our good friend Tim Jenkins did a video breakdown on this and had a little bit of fun breaking this down on Broncos Country Tonight, the radio show. But I wanted to sort of talk about uh, what things look like with the Packers offense and how much of that we can take away and to fit with the skill set of Russell Wilson. So just a broad stroke, Benjamin, as we start there, um, how do you think that fit works? Well, I, I think you're going to see a lot of the blocking, a lot of the zone blocking. Um, but in terms of the passing concepts, I don't know that they're going to import as much. Um, I, I think they're going to key in off the, the ground game in the sense that there will be a lot more zone running. But I think the pass concepts are going to go back to being similar to what uh, Nathaniel Hackett did in other stops. Um, so not so, so much of what Matt LaFleur. Yeah, I'm not sure there's going to be as much. I mean, you'll still see the, the, the boot back, you know, run left, boot back, boot back right and you know, high-low stuff, but I think mostly you're going to see, um, you know, I, I think you're going to see an integration of the two, and I think you'll see some pistol concept stuff. I think you'll see some shotgun. I think you'll see some under center. I think they want to mix it up and kind of always try to keep people off balance. Yeah, I was trying to think about, like, how that conversation went with Russell Wilson when Nathaniel Hackett met him and they talked football and they talked about what it looks like, what that offense looked like, because I don't think you sell them on the Blake Bortles offense necessarily, or the EJ Manuel offense. I think you probably sell them closer to what they ran out there with the green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers. which again, to Tim Jenkins credit, when he did a breakdown of what the Packers offense did and what the Seahawks offense was doing at times, um, he did similar opponent. He did the Detroit lions to probably do some more similar opponents. Um, and and there were some similar concepts in there, but understanding about what the, the personnel you have, the skill sets of the guys you have available to you. And that's where I think that it gets into a little bit more intrigue. But yeah, I, I, what, what do you think that conversation was about? And how do you think, if you're Nathaniel Hackett, how did you sell Russell Wilson on, Bron on the Broncos? Well, I think the first thing you said, you say to Russ is, you know, <clears throat> what, what can we do to make you better? You know, what can, what can we do to take what it is that you're good at and, and, and make you better? And by proxy, you make everyone on this team better. And I think that's what it is. I think you come in and you say, look, we've already got the defense. You don't have to worry about a rebuild like you do up there in Seattle. We've, we've got you covered on that. Uh, you've got a better offensive line than you've ever had uh, already in place here in Denver. So what can we do to maximize Russell Wilson? What are the things that you do? What are the things that you do well? I think you sit down, you, you put the tape on, you say, okay, uh, you're a guy who excels when the play breaks down. You buy time with your legs. That can frustrate an offensive line, so we got to be cognizant of that. Um, we need to get our receivers to understand what to do after the play breaks down. You know, Tim talks about scramble drill all the time. we got to have receivers that follow through on scramble drill instead of just, you know, going stationary and watching the play happen. So I, I think there are things like that. I think you look at the passing concepts that work and the passing concepts that don't, and you say, hey, Russ, this is what we want to do. We want to give you the opportunity to put up the numbers and be the guy that – uh, statistically, we know that you are mentally and physically, so let's find a way to do that. I thought it was fun, by the way, chatting with uh, Voice of the Broncos, Dave Logan, last week when we were uh, hosting on the K-Way Sports Zoo about scramble drill. And I think for the untrained eye, it tends to look like just a mad dash to anywhere that's open, but there's actually a lot more planning involved in that. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Somebody's always running the post. Somebody's always running a crosser, somebody, you know, that kind of stuff. So you always know that there's going to be somebody in some area. You just you know, got to kind of go with that. And with but Russ, the Broncos seem like they quit on that at some times or uh, didn't quite follow through. Yeah, there were receivers that seemed to do that at times last year. But you sh that's what you should be doing anyway. Right. Um, and so that's, you know, you know with Russ that these are things that are going to happen more often. You've got to kind of be uh, attuned to what it is that he's going to do and where he wants to go with it and go from there. Yeah, uh, that, that's something that I'm excited to to get a sense of how those receivers work. And especially, again, if K.J. Hamler, I think that's sort of a, a forgotten piece in all of this. If K.J. Hamler can end up uh, being that guy that can run that deep post on the scramble drill, well, Tyler Lockett found himself pretty wide open most of the time on those opportunities for Russell Wilson. Well, yeah, and if you got some speed and, you know, you give enough time in the open field, corners can only cover so long. Uh, and you get enough time to get open, they're going to get open, and a quarterback like Russell finds you, so... The mobility thing is, is, is really interesting, too, because it's not like the Broncos haven't had mobility at the quarterback position over the last several years. It's about knowing when to use it. And again, uh, the, the, I guess, artistry of what Russell Wilson does, 
is when when he goes into a little bit more of that scramble, he's still oftentimes looking downfield. He's not looking to take off and run, but you know he's capable of that, and teams still have to respect that. I, I sort of think that when I was watching Tim Jenkins breakdown, how they were able to sometimes move the pocket, sometimes how they were able to get the running backs in motion ahead of time and sort of set things up on the backside of the play because of that mobility, you have to sort of respect you have to be as a defense. I think you sort of have to respect multiple ways they can attack you. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like you can't, uh, uh, you will have to have somebody either shade or spy Russ because he can still take off on you. Now you can't do that every play and, uh, and Russ is not going to do that every play, but you do have to be cognizant of that. And you do uh, probably have to play a little more zone because you got to keep your eyes forward. You know, if you tell you, you play man, they turn your back then you just take off on them. And that's, you know, I think that's something that uh, that he could take advantage of that maybe some of the latest Broncos quarterbacks could not. One of the things that I, I want to make sure we, we hit on here is Russell Wilson's uh, ability to connect on the deep pass. Watching some of uh, Tim Jenkins' breakdown and just in general watching Russell Wilson as much as we have, that's an underrated, maybe not underrated, but that is definitely a rated part of any offense. You have to be able to, to, to expand these defense. You have to make them question or worry about that and the Broncos just have not had the consistency with the deep pass uh you the, the pinpoint accuracy as we were watching both Rodgers and Russell Wilson leading up to all of this mm-hmm. the pinpoint accuracy that these guys complete these deep passes is is what makes them one of the best in the league if, really well yeah and, that, and that's the thing you have to cover every blade of grass you know with Russ he, he can beat you with the arm strength but he has the accuracy underneath if you took the the underneath accuracy of Case Keenum and the arm strength of Joe Flacco and put them together with uh, uh, significantly better legs you'd, you'd have Russell Wilson and so um, th- there are added dimensions there if you're a defender that you, you you can't just cheat one part of the field because you know they can't do it you know so uh, I think that's a big part of the Broncos game plan coming into this season is just force defenses to have to defend and if they do that that will stretch them out and create holes and then you pick apart those holes I'm wondering as I was watching a little bit of the breakdown about Jerry Judy and and his route running and how they might be able to best maximize what he does out there on the field because we know I think we're, we're pretty well aware at this point of the relative strengths of what Cortland Sutton and Tim Patrick bring they bring the size they they, they have really good speed decent speed uh, Jerry Judy though is a little bit of a different kind of deal. Um, is there a scenario where kind of like Devonte Adams was, we're talking about the Packers offense, kind of like Devonte Adams was where you can move him around the field. You can line him up in the slot. You can move him outside. You can, you can basically just look for ways to find mismatches for him throughout the entire game. Well, I think that's the, I think that's the plan overall and not just for him, for any of the receivers. I think you do want to move him around. You got to, and now Cortland and Tim will mostly play on the outside, but you can move him inside. If you get a mismatch on a shorter corner, why not? And give him a free release and let him go up and, and, and dominate a shorter guy. Uh, if you think you get to, uh, an advantage moving, you know, moving Judy, and all of a sudden you've got him on somebody slower. Uh, you know, why not? I think that's that's the idea behind everything Nathaniel Hackett does is create a mismatch, exploit the mismatch, and that's you know fundamentally what football boils down to. All right, obviously we'll spend a lot more time over this over the course of the off season for Benjamin Albright. I'm Ryan Edwards. Thanks for watching Broncos Country tonight.